Okay, wait, do you want to go and try and reach it quickly? No, I can't. You don't do this to me on camera. You know? Wait, I got it. Is this okay? This is Catherine. My fingers are also wrinkly from the back. It's gross. <laughs> I feel like I've aged like 50 years. Describe your first experience with my Jamaican and Asian cuisine. It was the first night I stayed at yours and you decided to cook me jerk chicken. And I, I don't think I'd even heard of jerk chicken, <laughs> which makes me sound like I've lived this really sheltered life. Um, but no, I, like, I hadn't eaten jerk chicken before. And you promised me that it wasn't gonna be spicy. <laughs> and I think I almost died. It took me till the next day to fully eat this like tiny little portion of chicken that you'd done me. <laughs> and I just remember sitting there on your bed because you were on your computer at the end of the bed and I just remember sitting there like please don't let him turn around and see how much like I'm struggling to eat this right now. <laughs> I make it sound like I've never eaten like hot food before. I've eaten hot food before just like <laughs> not sort of cooked fresh as such like my onion cutting skills today are just not on point. Raheem and I have been engaged since late February 2017. He's a Muslim and I'm an atheist. Over the past eight months I've been learning about Islam and I've opened my mind to things I had never considered. I have all but decided to go into the new year as a Muslim. So once again we find ourselves cooking late. <laughs> as always. Yeah. Well, well, sometimes it's not so late. It, it kind of depends on our sort of <laughs> schedules, I guess, like. That's quite a lot of chilli we've got in here, you know. Mince goes in there, yeah? Um, yes. Onions and chilli are in. Sick fun! Sorry. No, no, no. Wait, you're filming right now, aren't yes, you? I, <laughs> I feel like this has started to go off on the top. Like here, look. It's fine as long as we cook it thoroughly. You sure? Yes. If it starts smelling like dead bird, I'm blaming you. Because that's what it'll smell like if it's off. No, when it cooks. It's fine. Trust me. Some day, it was a fridge. Bacon smells like that, you know, when it goes off. Really? Yeah. I work and we both study. Raheem meets me after work when it gets dark. As the days go on, I continue to wonder what I'll be in the future and whether it's something I'll regret. You've mentioned that you have some doubts and that it feels really sudden. Christmas is right around the corner. Do you feel that could be affecting you in some way? The fact that we're this close to Christmas isn't affecting me at all, really. I think it's because Christmas has never been religious for me and considering that it's something that I think I could incorporate into my future life. I think once we talk to your mum, I may feel better about it. I know that we've got enough for the tube, do you know what I
in terms of me, I don't, I didn't and have never worried about backlash because coming from an Afro-Caribbean yeah, yeah. Um, family, we're multicultural anyway. Yeah. Um, it doesn't make much difference. Although I did have do have to say that when my gran realised, because she came from Jamaica and she didn't yeah. know, mm. um, she didn't really know anything about Islam. And I remember one day she was talking about Rahim and Iman, and she she, she realised that they weren't christened. And she she said to me, "Why, well, Lord God?" She couldn't believe it that I hadn't had them christened. And I said, "Well, Christians suggest they're Christian." Mm. And they're not Christian, so we don't get our children christened because mm. she couldn't understand it. They yeah, don't yeah, go yeah. to church, yeah. they don't get christened. And I explained it, you know, I said when they were born, they had their head shaved, um, they had the prayers whispered in their ears. Mm. That's the first thing you're supposed to hear as a, a, a Muslim baby. Yeah, no, I read about that. And then um, I said they are the, they're boys, so they had the old snipperoo. Mm. And um, Hey. Right. Yeah, we said we'd be ringing. <laughs> oh, I'm all blocked up. I sound awful. Oh dear. Yeah. <laughs> all my ears are blocked as well. It's not nice. When when I told you that I was going to become Muslim, okay. did, did you have like any fears or any doubts, that kind of thing? I probably, I probably did, yeah, because, you know, of all the bad publicity about Muslims and, and and things that have been going on. And how do you feel about it now? Like, Well, I know you wouldn't have made th that kind of um, decision yeah. um, without really um, thinking it through properly and everything. Yeah. Um, you know, if it makes you happy, then it makes me happy. I'm converting in about an hour, by the way. Oh, what? Well, you've not done it yet? No, no. Um, okay. I'm doing How it later. How do you feel about that? <laughs> it's becoming my interview now. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, Are you nervous? Or? Um, not right now. I probably will be later. All right, let's go. Let's go in. Get up. <laughs> <laughs> we are I'm seeing you. Okay, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Remember, this doesn't lock, so... <laughs> your doubts about um it's gonna sound really stupid but it's literally i've never ever followed a religion right. like ever and it's that idea of just i don't want to do anything wrong because i feel like that's really offensive but you know what but it like you just said if people you do things wrong it doesn't make yeah. you not that faith and that's because i kept on putting off converting yeah because i kept on saying well i'm not ready to wear hijab yet so i can't convert yeah yeah, yeah. and it was the person that said to me oh, you may never be ready to wear hijab yeah but does that stop you from being a Muslim? That's mm. not the only thing that defines us. Yeah, yeah. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and I bear witness that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the messenger of Allah. I was nervous, but that's because it was something new and different to anything I had done back home. But I'm happy. Uh huh. Illa Allah. Illa Allah. Wa ashhadu. Wa ashhadu. Anna Muhammadan. Anna Muhammadan. Rasulullah. Rasulullah.